In this experiment, you'll create waves on a string, measure their speed, and the effect of tension on the wavelength and frequency. We'll use a function generator to create a varying voltage, which drives a vibration generator, which is attached to a string that goes over a pulley that's attached to a suspended weight, which provides the applied tension on the string. Here we've got a 100 gram mass and of course the mass holder itself is 50 grams. We fixed the vibration generator in place with some tape so it won't move and measured the length of the string between the generator pole and the pulley. We will turn on the function generator adjusted to a fairly low frequency and start slowly increasing the frequency. At a certain point, we see a large and stable waveform on the string. And this is a harmonic of the string. In fact, it's the first harmonic because it's the longest possible wavelength we can form on the string. If we continue to increase the frequency, we can see other harmonics. Here's the second harmonic. Because this standing wave is stable, we can see the wave shape and therefore easily measure the wavelength. And with the wavelength and frequency together, we can determine the wave's speed.